some of y'all looks like ants and that makes me uncomfortable <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is China. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm coming back to y'all with a brand new video today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in today's video, we have yet another chit chat. Get ready with me, girl. Aren't we excited? I know we are. We are. I know. And we're finna jump right into it, but before we do, be sure to please subscribe to my channel and also be sure to give me a big thumbs up and comment if you want to help me out because when YouTube sees that we're getting some type of engagement, they keep pushing the videos and girl, we got goals to reach, okay? So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all of my social media platforms. I promise I'm about to start being more active. You'll see, just follow me right now and I won't disappoint. And I respond back to all of my babies, all of my subscribers, my supporters, all that. I respond back in the DMs, all that. Questions y'all have, whatever. The ones who write me on there, y'all y'all know what's up. Y'all know the tea for sure. Y'all know the tea. So, we have a few topics that we're going to get into. But first, I'm going to go through my makeup. And I'm going to see what makeup... I'm going to be using today so if I'm looking down at my phone it's because I have the topics that I'm going to talk about right up on here so let's pull it up okay so today's video um, our makeup look is going to be like a feminine type of makeup look I've actually been really into that lately as have a lot of people a lot of people that I've been seeing on YouTube and stuff, they've also like been into like the, um, the femininity um, movement. Now, to the naked eye, like basically this is already something that I've been on for the longest time. I've always been super feminine. Well, not always. Like when I was a kid, I was a little tomboy. But since I've been like grown, I've always been super duper um, feminine like on the outside as far as like always keeping myself together keeping my hair done i put on my makeup i'm always presentable i always smell good this has been a thing for me for a very 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 long time but what made me want to start going on this feminine journey is even though i would look like these things what I really, really, really want to work on is being more womanly in the aspect of um, a little more submissive, like to my man, or like um, one thing about me, I'm sure you could pick up from my videos, is that I have a super, super, super bad potty mouth, and I want to get that under control because um. I feel like being feminine is like the most powerful and sexy trait that a woman can have. Like who doesn't want a womanly woman, a feminine woman? You know what I'm saying? Not, not, nothing wrong or taking away nothing from like my tomboys or nothing out there because y'all cute. But I feel like as a woman being super, super attractive. Like I know it will always be women like that, I, that will come into a room and like I would be like, damn, it's so, I, I didn't know what to call it, but I'd be like, damn, it's something about her. Like, oh my gosh, she seems so sexy, so appealing, so powerful. But it was like their femininity. They walk in, they dominate that motherfucking room as soon as they walk in. They looking good, smelling good, feeling good. They look confident. They look happy. They look at peace. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, like, look at her. She can really brighten up a room. Brighten up a room. Um... Like I said, I didn't know like what to really call it then, but they were super, the people I would see like that, they were super feminine. That would be the word that like I'm looking for. Um, because yeah, femininity, it's not only like about looks, even though that is like a big part of it, but it's not only about 
looks um it's about being able to do womanly things i feel like such as not putting a gender role on stuff but i feel like cooking cleaning nurturing taking care of kids the home being the person that like my mom is somebody like that like i can still call her to this day to like set up my doctor's appointments for me like if i need something handled like she just be the one like she's the one i feel like that's a super womanly trait to be able like if you sit with your man and like he don't like something or something you can call the waitress but stuff as simple as that as simple as like yeah if um I don't know there's a problem going on like at your kids school or something like that you call and get it straightened out I feel like that stuff is like womanly like that's a woman thing like whenever my boyfriend needs something taken care of like hey can you call this or set up this or that like he calls me for it I don't know I just feel like that's super feminine and I'm trying to get out of my anxiety I have such 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 bad anxiety when I'm calling anywhere going in anywhere if it's time for me to be like, oh my gosh, no, I don't like this. Like, I get super duper bad anxiety when it probably shouldn't even be like that. Like, girl, it ain't that deep. But of course, I can't help it. I don't feel like there's like a, a, a rule book to how you can dress or anything like that. I feel like it's more about how you carry yourself and like taking care of yourself and keeping up with yourself and stuff like that is what I feel like is more about but, um as far as keeping up with yourself it's just simple stuff like keeping your hair done your nails done you know being waxed or shaved or whatever you prefer feeling good smelling good you got your nice shower routine going and everything like that you're exfoliating that skin baby you glowing um Y'all, I have not been telling y'all none of these products. Oh my gosh. So to do my eyebrows, I just used a regular brown eyebrow pencil. I believe it's from Wet n Wild. This super light foundation I have on is the LA Pro Girl Concealer. And it's in the color Light Ivory. Yes, I know it's too light for me. But I'm about to put this on over top. And it is the Cover Girl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This is what this looks like, and it's in the color Caramel. Yeah, like I said, nails done, toes done, all that. I feel like that's all like super feminine. Doing things like that. To just keep up with yourself. The next topic is going to be the BBL epidemic, if you will. Um, a while ago, when I was going like through some insecurity things, I was like all for getting a BBL, really wanted one, super duper bad. Not saying it's only an insecure thing. I mean, in a way, you do have to be insecure about something on yourself, which is being insecure. <laughs> so, I mean, it is kind of being insecure, if you will. But when I was feeling a little less good about myself because I was a little bigger or whatever, I was all for a BBL, really wanted one, um, and was right on the verge of getting one. But now I honestly feel like when I did start going to the gym and seeing the results that I can get, because I already have a pretty big bootay. Don't really need a bigger one. I honestly feel like it would kind of look weird if I got a bigger But It was just more so my stomach. Just wanted a flatter stomach. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I feel like I can get that working out. I'm not really for it now. Like, not just how I won't change my mind one day. Like, not to say that I won't change my mind on it one day, because I've 
very well may but right now it's just not really my thing anymore it's getting a little oversaturated and tired and annoying i'm getting annoyed with seeing everybody looking the exact same um but i mean never n nonetheless though like all the ladies look a beautiful we'll be having our bbls y'all bodies are bum well not everybody some of y'all looks like ants and that makes me uncomfortable it's like <laughs> it don't make me uncomfortable but i'm just saying that y'all gotta chill but um yeah what really got me out of one one though for real is like seeing the aftercare and stuff that goes into it and like seeing the maintenance and having to get those massages when i tell y'all i am terrified of them massages girl i would be looking at them and i'd be like y'all is not doing that to me like i could just picture it Ooh, and then people be saying that the drain be like the drain that you get put into you it'd be like the skin be like healing around it so then they got to cut the drain out or poke the incisions back open <laughs> one thing about me is i cannot take pain i'm sorry i can't i'm not one of those girls i don't have a high pain tolerance i don't have none of that so thinking about that honey makes me change my whole take on it like yeah i feel like i could just go to the gym but like i said that might change and also i do get annoyed when people saying like oh yeah going to the gym could get you the body that you want because that's not the thing with everybody if you don't genetically or naturally already have like that type of a shape you you can't get an hourglass figure not everybody can have an hourglass uh, glass figure We're gonna fix this, don't worry. Like, I don't think it matters how much you go to the gym or anything like that. Like, if you're not meant to have an hourglass figure and that's, if you're built like, if you have like a straight up and down build naturally and your mama got that, your grandmama got that, everybody got that. I feel like that's just what you're just gonna have. Like, the gym cannot fix that. It could just make you more toned and more lean and, you know. But other than that, girl, I don't. I don't think that's how that works at all, but hey. So it is annoying when people say like, oh, why get a BBL when you can just go to the gym? When that's really not the case for everybody. So if you don't like the way that you're built and you want to change it or something like, I feel like if that's what you want to do, then do it. It's just how I feel. I don't know. I don't really care about what people do much to their own body. It doesn't bother me now. Girl, we gotta fix this lace quick. I'm trying to open this camera looking a fool. Hold up. But. We're gonna fix this. Hold on, let me let me fix let me fix this. So yeah, this is still gonna be fixed by then. Don't pay that no mind right now. I know it's hard and it's distracting, but don't pay her no mind. So what is my next topic? Hold on. So the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is this vaccine right y'all when i tell you about this vaccine like i've never been more conflicted about something in my life literally in my life one minute i'm completely against the vaccine well not even completely against it but one minute i'm like you know what girl i'm not taking that i don't need that i'll be cool uh, then the next minute girl i'm like give me the vaccine like i honestly don't even know what's best for myself at this point 
because every time I'm leaning towards like, okay, yeah, I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to get this vaccine. Every time, every time I lean towards that, I hear like another video or another case of like why you shouldn't get the vaccine or somebody died or got Bell's palsy or got this, this, this and that after getting the vaccine. Like even though I feel like the Bell's palsy thing, I feel like that was fake. But it, it, it's just a whole bunch of stuff like that that just keeps popping up. And I've heard a few people say that within the next three years. I've heard a few people say that within the next like three to five years or something like that, everybody who got the vaccine is going to die. Like, and I'm like, girl, no, I'm not trying to die. And then also, that was just my, my um, setting powder, y'all, that I just applied all over my face and got me looking like fucking Casper or like a crackhead. But then on the other hand... On the other hand, like, what if all of this stuff is like some stupid ass like conspiracy theories and like I'm really blocking my blessing right now and like I could be getting this vaccine and I could be protected or um, not about to die or not about to die from this fact from this virus. Like what if I'm just being dumb and not getting it because I'm being too paranoid like I always am about everything. I'm always super paranoid. So what if we're just all being dumb not taking it because somebody made a good point and was like y'all are so scared of the vaccine but y'all are the very people that as soon as y'all get sick y'all be willing to come to the hospital and get anything that we're willing to give you for you to feel better but you won't take a vaccine that's going to prevent you from even getting to this point I'm like that's true like we would go like soon as I'm feeling sick girl and I can't breathe girl I'm flying to the hospital and then I also heard of people getting treated funny because they didn't get the vaccine and then they came down with COVID and had to be hospitalized I've been hearing a lot about um nurses and stuff not treating you right because they're like, oh well girl, to prevent this, you could have got the damn vaccine, but nope. So I've been hearing about that too, and I don't want that to be the case for me. Like, God forbid, I do get COVID, which I feel like I've already had it before, me and my family. But God forbid we do get in as bad or something like that, then we have to go to the hospital. And people treating us funny or just letting us die because we didn't get it. Like, girl, no, don't do that, don't do that. So, I'm just very much conflicted. Very, very, very much conflicted, girl. I do not know. But I feel like I need to figure it out. Because at any moment, it could be too late. God forbid. Oh, yeah, I don't want to get it and give it, like, to my son or anything like that. Even though, like I said, I think we already had it. But I don't know for a fact. I think you can get tested to see if you got the antibodies or something like that. I feel like you can. But you know the stuff they've been saying about when kids get it. Um, it can cause all this other stuff in kids. Like they'll be like asymptomatic or whatever. But then next thing you know, they got failing livers. Like what? Girl. I don't know. I honestly don't. Tell me what y'all think about the vaccine. Actually, tell me what y'all think about all these topics, actually. Do you agree? Do you not? Like, with it? But yeah, I'm just super conflicted on that, as I am with everything in my life, girl. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I need to get a grip, though, and I need to figure it out. But it's like... I'm putting on this elf blush. I'm gonna put on the pink ones. I'm gonna mix both of them pink ones together right there and put it all on my cheeks. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. 
Let me know what y'all think. How many of y'all are vaccinated? I understand some people's situations are different than others. Some people had to get the vaccine for whatever reason, whether it be their job or family members that may be at risk or if they're high risk or whatever the case may be. Some people didn't really have a choice and I'm aware of that. I'm gonna set my face now. I love this setting spray. It's the Rimmel London Stay Matte setting spray. This is my shit right here, girl. So I'm gonna do a little something something with my eyes. I'm gonna use, oh no. I'm just gonna use this Tarte palette right here. It's the, it's called Tarte, oh Tarte Light in Bloom. I feel like that's what it's called, yeah. And just gonna take some little light shades. But yeah, y'all, so I honestly was going to start a whole new YouTube channel, which I do still have the channel, but I don't think I'm going to give up on this channel just yet. I still have so much hope in this channel. The thing is, I just don't post consistently and stuff. Like, how can I possibly, like, get mad at, like, my channel dying or whatever you want to call it? How can I possibly get mad at that if I'm not even trying my hardest? Like, I don't post consistently or nothing like that. So, I'm definitely going to give it another. I'm definitely going to give it another shot. And see what I can make of this channel. And I do love this channel. Like, girl, I grew up on this channel. This is my channel. I built this channel, girl. Y'all ain't finna kick me off of it because y'all wanna watch my stuff or like or comment on it, which you should. Because it does help. We're gonna keep posting on her and we're gonna see where she goes and she's gonna go far, actually. I know she is. She's gonna go super far. I have hope in my baby. I know it's gonna do super good eventually. I'm just gonna be consistent. Period. And everything will work out just fine for me. So that's that. Now, let me plug in my hot comb because we finna do this hit, girl. And if you're interested like on the details of this hair, I do have a video on it. It's gonna be the video right before this one. Is it? Yeah, I'm gonna upload that one first. Sorry, y'all had to change my outfit. The pink just, the pink dress just wasn't doing it for me. For real. I'm actually gonna do my lip right now.
This is my favorite gloss. It's almost gone. It's this e.l.f. lip gloss and it's in the color Wild Rose. And I just put on a brown lip liner, some lip gloss, this over top. And I feel like I want it more pink. So I'm going to put this Wet n Wild Cloud Pout in the color Cotton Candy over top just a little bit. Okay y'all, so here is the finished product. Let's see. Zoom back out. I think it's so cute and feminine, right on topic, right? I think it's super cute. So yeah, if you enjoyed this look and the topics in this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and smack the fuck out of your screen right where that subscribe button is and you might as well hit the notification bell because you already know I'm going to be right back at it like a crack addict and that's on Poonam. Also, before you go, do not forget to subscribe to my social media pages down below. So give me a follow, like, so you'll get all the updates on when I'm finna upload and everything like that. Girl, you won't be left out of the loop and we can talk and all that and be all personal and cute and shit. But yeah, <laughs> adios.